I was started to play more fingerstyle guitar and classical guitar, very basic stuff in my early teens. And back then, um, I never had any idea of myself or any aspirations we'd say to continue with this. It was just whatever happened next with the guitar happened. And but I always felt that what's the point in everybody playing a piece the same way? It's so important to put your own um, stamp on a piece of music and play it the way you feel it. And in a way, take a slight liberty with the music. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yet the classical world would probably disagree with me there. But I really feel this is one of the problems in the classical world because you have 100,000 billion uh, recordings of Bach, Chopin, and they all sound the same as far as I'm concerned. Where if somebody comes along, and there's Julian Bream, who always had a, a way and a style, a unique way of playing, and people love his verses because they're different. They're French. Studying in college, and sometimes, and I, well, certainly this will happen to me. It can, it can, they can beat all your natural flair as a, as a, as an artist out here, and you'll just come out the other end sounding like everybody else. And that I don't like. It's very important that you maintain your own style. And in my case, I have a very individualistic style. Um, that's where it didn't just um, work for me there. And as a result. If this is what classical, the classical music, the classical guitar is all about, well then it's not the place for me and I got disillusioned and um, I, I, I quit. <laughs> make myself sound better, just to enhance, to, to make the, the dynamics stand out by, by subtly introducing maybe a little reverb, uh, making the guitar sound a little bit more symphonic on stage from a quieter instrument. Some purists will say, oh, well that's not a classical guitar. Fine. Um, you've got to be careful that you don't overdo it. Uh, to me, it's subtly enhancing the beauty in the music. And it's also a, a more pleasing experience for the player, but also for the audience as well. A lot of the stuff I'm writing as well, and I'm, um, with classical music, is again, um, I'm introducing um, like if anybody has heard the new City Jam album, they will notice there's a lot of instruments I'm playing uh, with the guitar. Um, and I call it a kind of modern ensemble where you have synthesizers, you have drums, um, you have effects. Um, these should be all. These are all part of, of, a, of a library for any composer. Even though my music is classically based, I mean, uh, I, I use. If, if, if any of these effects can create what I'm trying to put across musically, I would use that effect. The two air amps that I use um, are fantastic. Uh, again, they, they, they amplify the, the natural sound of the guitar. But I use them in stereo and I spit them there with the delay, delay so it gives you this uh, wider effect again and more of a surround sound effect. Um, so again, these pieces, which sometimes can sound very small and delicate on the classical guitar, uh, by using the setup I have, it makes the music more symphonic. Um, and I think, again, uh, makes the more music more beautiful for the listener. This is a bit of the lament that I wrote, and this is just a guitar on its own, with, with no uh, addition to the sound. setup and sound that I use, the same piece.
you can do it, you can do it. It's very important to 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 um, believe in yourself and believe in your music and, and work hard. And I work very hard in introducing my music, like any other salesman would do in a shop to try and sell his product, to, to, to try and introduce my music to the world and get new people to like it. And and then when you when you when you go to do something or you need maybe um, like the fund the campaign, I was amazed that people donated as much as they did to this because they believed in my music, probably more so than I did. And that's how City Jam was born. Feeling, uh, gives you more happiness than that.